Hello friends, this video on Equilibrium Part 44 is brought to you by examfear.com. No one fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the previous parts. Let's understand the effect of pH on solubility. So the solubility of salt of weak acid increase with decrease in pH. I'll tell you why. These are my examples. So I decrease the pH, that means I am decreasing the pH from, the, from 7 to 3. That means I am increasing H plus ion concentration, correct? Or I am decreasing OH minus ion concentration. Any of this is true. I am decreasing the pH, that means I am increasing either H plus ion concentration or decreasing OH minus ion concentration. So in this case, if you see, if I increase H plus ion concentration, OH minus ion will be used here. So this OH minus ion will be consumed. That means I am decreasing the concentration of this. Since I am decreasing the concentration of this, what will happen is, the stress of decrease of OH minus ion concentration will be relieved if the equilibrium moves in this direction. That means more and more of this is dissolved. Same thing here also. So if I am decreasing the OH minus ion concentration here, the stress will be resolved if the equilibrium moves in this direction. If I am increasing the H plus ion concentration and H plus will react with F minus from H, HF, this is reduced. If I am reducing this, the equilibrium will move in this direction to make sure that the stress is released and thus it will be dissolved. We'll take some questions here. It's a very good question. Say that equal volumes of 0 0.02 m solutions of sodium iodide and cupric, uh, cupric chloride is mixed. Will it uh, lead to precipitation of copper iodide? And for cupric iodide, PSP is given. First thing we should note is, for example, let's suppose uh, V volume of, let's suppose 1 liter, let's suppose 1 liter of sodium iodide and 1 liter of cupric chloride is mixed. So if you see the volume is double. Since the volume is double, the molar concentration will become half. Right? The number of moles of sodium iodide is same, but the volume is double. So this will become half for, so if you see the molarity of sodium iodide will be equal to what? 0 0.002 2 by 2. This is 0 0.001. And similarly, molarity of cupric chloride, Cu, Cl, 3, 2, will also be 0 0.002 by 2, that is 0 0.001. Why? Because the volume is double now, right? So this was, see, this was, it had, I suppose, 1 liter. Now 1 plus 1 is 2 liter. The volume is double, so the molar concentration will go down. Correct. Now let me solve the, the equation for NaIU3. So NaI throw will break into Na plus IU3 minus, right? So this was 0 0.001 initially, and so was 0 in this row, and this is T equally equilibrium, this will become 0, and this will become 0 0.001, and become 0 0.001. Easy only. Same thing for Cu, ClO3, 2. This Cu plus, plus 2, ClO3. This was 0, sorry, this was 0 0.001, this was 0 and this was 0, this becomes 0, this becomes 0 0.001, this becomes 0 0.002, twice. Correct. Now, this will be the equilibrium concentration. Now, it is given that Ksp of cupric iodide, so let's have this equation cupric iodide, it will give you what? Cu plus 2 plus 2 Io 3. Correct. So, in this case, what is the concentration of Cu plus 2 we have now? Cu plus 2 we have is 0 0.00. And IO3 minus 2 is also 0 0.00. Right? If you want to find the ionic product here, or Ks, Ks, uh, Ks now, normal, normal K we have to find, this is nothing but concentration of Cu plus 2 into concentration of IO3 minus square. That is 0 0.001 into 0 0.001 square. So nothing but 10 to the power minus 9. And if you see the value of Ksp given here is, for the same equation, 7.4 10 to the power minus 8. And if you see here, Ksp is more than K, 
dining product. Since the ASP is more, it won't precipitate. It won't precipitate. If the ASP would have been less, this would have precipitated. Because if the solubility product is more, it would have precipitated. But the, sorry, if the solubility product would have been less, it would have precipitated. If the solubility product is more, it is more actually. Right? So more ions are required to reach this value. Right? So if you have more ions of this or this, then it would have precipitated. But now, since this, this value is more, so it is not able to reach this value. It has reached only this value. Right? So once it reached this value, then only it will precipitate. So had this number we will let's suppose it is by minus 1 or 2, in that case this number is much bigger than this, that means it would have precipitated. But since it has not reached the KS value, it won't even precipitate. It's a very good question. The question says what is the minimum volume of water required to dissolve 1 gram of calcium sulfate? So calcium sulfate, you see the equation we have something like this. Calcium plus SO4 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus. Correct. So let's assume that this was x, t is equal to 0, this becomes x minus s, s and s. Right. So Ksp is what here? Concentration of this into concentration of this, that is x square, s into s. Right. And that value is given 9.1 to the power minus 6. So we solve this, you get S is nothing but 3.02 10 to the power minus 3 moles per liter. So you convert into gram per liter. So this becomes 3.02 10 to the power minus 3. And moles becomes gram, you calcium sulfate, atomic mass is 136 grams per liter. This comes out to be 411 grams or 0.41 grams per liter. That means one liter of water is required to dissolve 0 0.411 grams of CSO4. Correct. So to dissolve one gram of CSO4, how much is required? So one gram of CSO4 will require how much? One by 0 0.411 liter. That is something about 2.43 liters. So 2.43 liters of water is required of water required to dissolve 1 gram of calcium sulfate. See, you just found the value of S and S came out, came out to be this moles per liter. So we convert this into gram per liter. That means 0 0.41 gram per liter of calcium sulfate can be dissolved. That means 1 liter of water will dissolve 0 0.41 grams. So 1 gram of calcium sulfate needs 2.43 liter of water. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.